welcome back to my channel So Happy. My name's Alex and I like to make videos all about my handmade wardrobe. So, it is autumn. Yes, I love autumn. Autumn is my favourite time of year because everything gets a little bit more cosy, there's pumpkins, it's my birthday which I just celebrated which was really really fun and yeah it's just it's just a great season and I just love autumn sewing. So I'm going to show you a couple of things I've been making recently and they are all from one pattern and you can probably guess sitting at home which pattern that might be. It is the London pattern. Um, I've just started a sewing company, a textiles company with my best friend Caroline. We like to create fabrics and sewing patterns with the environment in mind. So if you would like to go check out our Kickstarter page, it's still running and I'll put a link down below. And yeah, we're really excited. So all the things I've been making recently have been samples for that, as well as just making, you know, clothes in that pattern because, because I love it. <laughs> So we'll start with what I'm wearing. This was actually the first ever London dress I made and it is in this beautiful poplin fabric um, by Lady McElroy, I think. I will put the name in the box here of the, of the fabric, what it's called, but apparently it's out of print now, which is really, really sad. So hopefully you can get hold of some. I know that Harriet from So Me Sunshine also stopped it if Lamassi fabrics don't have it anymore. But yeah, I just absolutely adore these colours. I love navy um, and all these like mustards and pinks are like literally, literally my thing. I just think it's the perfect way of bringing in some colour into your autumn wardrobe. And I did a hack on the neckline, which is with a button instead. So the option for the London, you can have an open keyhole neckline or you can have it with ties. And I just decided, you know, go a bit different. And I used a broken hair bobble. Um, any hair bobbles I have that break, I keep for like loops and stuff. And then I did a big cover button. And yeah, it's just, oh, I love this. And I did the open box pleats here. And then that also goes into the skirt. I wore this for our um, Kickstarter video as well. So I will put some clips now of me wearing this dress and it was such a fun day and we designed these um, sewing pants to be as comfortable as possible and we literally spent the whole day in them just going around London, hopping on a bus to get to the next location, walking to the next location so yeah it was super super comfy and I absolutely love it and the raglan sleeve here is also a fluted sleeve and it's just so sweet with a poplin it's just oh it's perfect and I've gotten so much wear out of the sample. I wanted to create samples myself. Obviously this was during the testing phase for our pattern. I wanted to create samples that I was going to wear again and again and again. Because um, Caroline of course already already tested the pattern with Calico. So I was like I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to you know, just make out of fabrics that I, I really want. And I've been dying to have this dress in my wardrobe for like forever. Hence why, hence why we designed it <laughs> to be like this. But yeah I absolutely love it. I wore this to a wedding with some big chunky red shoes. I wore this for my birthday. We went out for an Indian meal and I ate a lot so there you go ladies if you're looking for a dress where you can eat a lot of Indian food this is the one for you. It's just a really nice really comfortable piece that just makes you feel slightly like put together. So yeah and I just love this fabric because it's super super duper 70s and it's yeah it's such a satisfying sew and I love making the London and the poplin. It's just such a cute, cute um, pattern to sew with that fabric because it just feels so satisfying. So a lot of you who have been watching my videos for a while know I have a slight obsession with velvet. I love, I just love velvet so much. It's just such a beautiful fabric and it makes any outfit just look, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> it just makes any outfit look amazing. So of course, for one of the samples, I had to make a velvet London top. So the pan also comes as a top option and it has this gathered peplum. And what I love about our peplum is that it's raised slightly on the hip and then curves down. So yeah, it makes your legs look super long. But yeah, I absolutely love this so much. Look, oh, I mean, oh, I will include some clips of me wearing it again for the Kickstarter video because do you guys want to know a funny story? So when we filmed our Kickstarter video, originally we wanted to wear all our London fabrics and everything like that, but I made a really silly mistake and I made the order wrong. Luckily it was just samples originally, but then that put us back about two weeks. So we ended up not actually having any of our um, official London fabrics to wear in the video. So we literally just had to wear all our samples, which was fine because then it was a really nice way for everyone to see the style of Selkie and other fabrics, not just the London fabrics. So that was, you know, maybe it was a blessing in disguise, but luckily, I mean, we both had like a few pieces that we'd made already, which we already loved and were living in. So it was fine, but I think if any of you are out there starting a business or if you're if you're faced with like a creative situation it really shows what you're capable of in that moment because I thought it was literally the be all or end all I was so upset and I was so annoyed at myself because I made a mistake and Caroline was like Alex is fine we'll just do this video so it was all good <laughs> anyway this is the velvet London top and I really wanted to make a sample 
that was in a silky colour. So this obviously, I mean, this is so on brand, it's unreal. I mean, come on, it, it's gorgeous. Um, this is a fabric from Shepherd's Bush. And I bought this exact velvet before. I bought it um, in last year. I made my birthday dress out of it. It was like a wrap dress. I'll put a picture here for you. Um, but I just really love working with this velvet because it's super easy to work with. And it's got, this is the one with the keyhole neckline. So I will show you it undone. There you go. Yeah, so this is the keyhole neckline. So I try to make this sample as neat as possible because this will be going maybe on a rail if we're ever at a show or something like that. But um, yeah, so the edges, I just cut with a rotary cutter and then stitched. I didn't finish the edges, so it was just like super, super neat. And yeah, I basically came up with the idea for this top um, in this style with the fabric. So I could wear it with like jeans for Christmas evenings or parties or something like that where, you know, when you just don't want, it sounds really bad, but you know, when you just don't want to leave the house and you're just like, oh, I just want to be cozy. This is the perfect outfit because it's so comfortable. You can wear it with jeans and then just put like literally a bit of red lipstick on and wear ballet flats and you just look, I mean, you just look well fancy, don't you? You just look so put together, but minimal effort, super comfortable. And yeah, I, I just absolutely love this. And it's, yeah, it's definitely now one of my favorite pieces of my wardrobe and I cannot wait to get lots of wear out of this. So, ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's like a medieval maiden, this kind of fabric. Do you know what I mean? Like a medieval maiden. It's that picture of medieval maiden. So the next um, piece I've made, which I am obsessed with, I haven't hemmed it yet, but I really wanted to show you. This is in one of our Selkie fabrics, which is a limited edition. And this was not in the Kickstarter or any of the campaigns because I made this recently. This is our London skirt. So this is the same pattern I'm wearing now, but the skirt version. Oh my God, look at it. And look at that curved waistband and a giant cover button. I mean, come on, don't say I don't spoil you. Look at that. <laughs> it's the same um, cover button. I bought these in a pack from Shepherd's Bush and just, you know, kept them, kept them in my stash and just, you know, it's great because then I could just cover them and there you go. But I just love... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I love the waistband on this because I designed it to look like men's tuxedos. If you look at the back of men's trousers, they have this like really cool curve, and I was like, I want that in a pattern. So yeah, put that in there, and it's got gathers on the side. Yeah, it's just so pretty. But I just love this fabric. It's so gorgeous. I haven't worn this yet because, like I said, I haven't hemmed it. But I took so long to make this because it's a really speedy make. But I wanted all the finishing to be absolutely perfect. So I did um, French seams here and then this is oh that's not hemmed but the I've basically this is really bad sewing terminology ex explanation but I, I hemmed it and then I put velvet ribbon on top where you can see the stitching and then I plan to pin this obviously <laughs> and then herringbone stitch the inside so on the inside it will look like this when it's hemmed I mean like come on just it's all about the little detail. What I really like about this fabric, some of you at home might be like, Alex, what, what are you doing? The edges of the selvages are like grow grain ribbon. Yes, the edges are like grow grain ribbon. So what I've done is I've had this as the, the, the finishing. I haven't finished this because it just looks really nice. Some of you at home might be like, mm, I like an overlocked edge or I like a French seam, but I just thought this looked, you know, just looks super nice. So I just thought I'd leave it in. And I love the the edging and how the, the print continues all the way to the edge with the grey grain ribbon, it's just, it's just really pretty. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to leave that in. It looks nice. I think this is my favourite fabric of all time. Um, I, I love it. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's so gorgeous. And it's a cotton satin and it's got the most beautiful, beautiful sheen. I will be doing a whole video on our lollipop fabric, which will be over on the Selkie Patterns YouTube channel. I'll put that here. So if you want to see more of our patterns and our London fabrics, which I was talking about, you can go check that out. I will have a whole video on this fabric for you. And if you'd like to see some of our London fabrics, go check out Selkie. And we talk all about the design process and how we got the pattern and how we did it. And yeah, all that good stuff. So here it is. The next piece I'm showing you, it's very crushed. I apologize. I'm very sad because my iron broke. So the next sample I'm going to show you is terribly crushed. I'm really, really sad and crushed myself because this iron no longer gives out steam. And it's very frustrating. So I actually don't own an iron, which is <laughs> very, not very good. Um, but here it is. This is my, one of the first ever skirts I made of the London pattern. And I'm so sorry, it's so crushed. But I've worn this to death. This is my most worn um, London piece. Again, I wore this in the Kickstarter video. I just absolutely love this fabric. It's so pretty. It's a cotton. It's coming out a lot lighter on camera than it actually is. I'm just going to let that focus. Focus. If you look carefully, it's got like this cross hatch print on it. And I bought this fabric on sale in John Lewis about a year ago and it's just sitting in my stash and it's literally the most 
gorgeous colour. I added a gold button that needs stitching back on and ironing. It's becoming a little bit loose, but on the back it's just like, oh, it's so sweet. And a nice zip that goes completely with it. Um, you can use a visible, a visible zip or a chunky zip, but I just opted for this one because I already had it in my stash. But yeah, I absolutely love this and I've been wearing it to death with Breton tops and shirts. I love this, but I just love the colour and it's such a great staple. But unfortunately, I've got a stain on it already and the stain is not coming out because it is cleaning detergent. I was cleaning the bath like a Muppet in this and I got a little bit, I mean, ugh. Alex, like honestly, no, don't clean your bathroom in your very fancy skirt. But you know what, you can hardly see it. It doesn't matter, I'm just gonna keep wearing it. So yeah, that's it, I love it. It's just so, so nice. I <laughs> this is another sample dress I made. I absolutely love it. So much care and attention went into making it, but I accidentally, this is what happens, I was very tired when I did this. Don't sew when you're tired. I chopped too much off of the sleeve. So the clips I'm gonna show you now is this dress in, in, in action on the Silky Kickstart video, but the sleeve's very short. So I've cuffed them. One half is done, the other half is not done, obviously because I've had to pause because I don't have an iron. So this is not ironed, but I've cuffed it. And I just think that looks really, really nice but I really wanted to make a really gorgeous sort of like well this colour which is perfect for autumn winter but it's just the most beautiful quality and I found this in Shepherd's Bush I don't I don't even know really what's in it but it's just such a gorgeous fabric I as you can see I've sewn bias binding sorry it's hard to turn up my, I've, as you can see I've sewn bias binding onto the zip sorry I'm hiding behind my dress but otherwise it will not it will not focus it does look slightly sheer on um the camera but when you wear it it's absolutely fine but yeah, I love this and I did the same on the dress. So I did French seams here, which is really beautiful. As you see on the back, I also used red bias binding for the back seam and it just, I mean, it just suits the whole London collection completely by having like the pops of the red with the blue. And I just love this dress, it's so gorgeous. I can't wait to finish it and wear it all the time with like long boots, it'll just look really sweet. And then this is the tie, the tie neck. And what I love about our ties is that the end has this like slanted detail so it's kind of like a bow like you know those classic bows you get but yeah I just I just love this dress it's just such a nice piece to have in my wardrobe and like I said all the samples me and Caroline made we have been wearing to death we wanted to create samples that we could wear in our everyday lives that weren't just you know out of any fabric we can find we wanted to make them wearable and lovable so I hope you enjoyed looking at all my lovely London samples I'm so happy with all these pieces that I've added to my autumn winter wardrobe I just think they're gorgeous and they're gonna get so much wear of them and it's even better to know that it's my own pattern it's a very exciting feeling the pattern is down below in the description box for our kickstarter so you can buy it in pdf format or paper format and if you buy any of our london fabrics you also get a pdf copy of our london pattern thank you so much for everyone who has been pledging so far we cannot believe the support selkie has received it's wonderful and amazing and you're also great so thank you so much and i will see you again in another video thank you bye